guys, welcome back. Sana here. In this session, I'll explain another error and solution. Okay, so look at here. This is related to a reconciliation account, and this error is appearing at the time of creation of vendor master. Okay, one of my So now here, COM 2000 is invalid reconciliation account in company code OC66. So what I'll do, just go to XK01 and 62 or 66 guys, 66 only. Account group is also OC66, everything is fine, you can give here. Okay, so here if I give 2000, then the error is appearing. The reason behind is if I click here, if I click here, right, I'm unable to select reconciliation account. What is the logic guys? What is the reason? Pretty simple reason is there. So there is a mistake. OC66, right? Here in liability account table. If you double click here, this GL account is not created as a reconciliation. Look at here, reconciliation account type, it must be vendor, right? See you, and uh, sorry, so I have to remove a check mark, and then you save it, yes, now it is done, and then press enter, now 2001 actually. Right, so 2001 is the reconciliation account base. So, of course, we'll have to select 2001 and then look at here. Now it is working fine. You can give any terms of payment, press enter, enter, and now it is saying that would you like to save? Yes, so now I'll be able to. Now, account this one is already exist. It means now this is another issue, guys. This is related to number range, right? So, here. What I have to do, OC66, go to OB, AS, and here, OC66, look at here, number range 3 is there, 0, 3, better to assign 0 to number range because this is a very large number range, guys, and here, like, uh, almost lots of unused number will be there, okay? In 0, 3, I think, uh, of course, some issues are there in the sense, like, Generally, what happened, you guys might be knowing, like, <coughs> let's suppose when we are going to assign a number range, right? So, in number range, we are having what to say, NR status, number in status also, isn't it? So, now in number in status, let's suppose, here I'll just show you, go to XK N1, XK N1, 0, 3, right? It just come down, 0, 3, this is 0, 3. Isn't it? So look at here how smaller it is till 99 only. So this is already it's already created. Here it is showing 49, right? Why? Because somebody has somebody definitely has a reset this NR status. Even you guys can reset. Look at here. NR status, what is happening, guys? You can reset also. If you want to reset. You can reset here. Let's suppose I can make it 40. And if I save it, then NR status is going to be reset, right? So here 49 was already updated. And if I make it, if I if I make it 40 here, then what will happen? Will I be able to create any vendor? If I create a vendor, then what will happen, guys? System is going to check this range, right? This is the range here. System will check NR status. It is the last digit is 40. So what is the next number? 41. But 41 is already created here. So SAP will throw error that this account is already created. It means it's already exist. So that is the error, right? So now what to do? Better to use this number range. It's a very, almost we can say large number range guys, which is almost unused, right? Here, uh, it's, it's okay, still. So many vendor can be created here. So that is why 
I suggest it. I don't want to save it to use. Okay, so go to OBAS here and account group OC66 and here 02. Save it and go to XK01. And this is the vendor, suppose test vendor. Your country US, right? Press enter, 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 enter. 2001 is the reconciliation count. Simply here can be selected. Click here. I'll look at here. Reconciliation account will appear. Then here, uh, standard payment terms. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Now you can save it. Yes. But now a number is generated. This is what the simple. So listen guys.